Gary Patterson will be a head football coach in the Division One, maybe by October. My prediction, my I was asked recently by a dear friend of both of ours, actually, in Waco, Texas, said, hey, what is your biggest, hottest sports take for this next year? And mine is that the Baylor Bears, led by Gary Patterson, who's interim head coach after Dave Aranda, doesn't get it done that he will lead the Baylor Bears to a bowl game because of the coaching acumen that he, he was. He's one of the greatest Big 12 coaches of all time. Top 10 for yeah. sure. Gary Patterson won a lot of games and has one of the best Big 12 teams ever in 2014 TCU that lost to Baylor. And I also believe that Bobby Petrino, interim head coach at Arkansas, will meet Gary Patterson in the Texas Bowl. Crazy. Um, when you, host of Locked on Baylor, Cameron Stewart, mm-hmm. here, Gary Patterson, head coach, Baylor University, does it blow your mind or are we on the cusp of this? Is that why Mac Rhodes brought him in? Well, look, I love that possibility. Mm -hmm. I do. And if nothing else, just for the pictures and the memes, like if, if he doesn't win a game, but we still have that, it's still kind of funny. That said, my hot take is that that's not going to happen. Even if Uh it's fired. Real hot take. Real hot I take. Think, I think if Dave Aranda is fired during the season, which which is a possibility, uh, I think they will go with Jake Spavadol instead. Wait, which wait, wait, seems wait, wait, crazy. Can yes, I, hold on. Yes, we got, please. Hold. Oh, 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 we have Rose Bowl winning coach mm-hmm. Gary Patterson, mm-hmm. or transfer portal guru who couldn't win more than three games at Texas State, Jake Spavadol. Gonna have to unpack that one for me. Yes. Yes. Well, look, okay. This is not the only part of it, but Spavadol was hired first. And I say that to say sure. they they made it clear through unnamed people that they yep. wanted a head coach, guy with head coaching experience to come on and be the offensive coordinator, which I thought limited them. Yep, right. I know. You, yeah. mm. you gonna tell me the record? Well, I was Looking just gonna good. say like Technically, Phil Steele has been a head yeah, college football true. coach. There that's have been true. many people have done it at least a little bit. That's true. Um, what was the guy? Uh, now I can't remember his name. The old defensive Phil Bennett. Phil Bennett yeah. is head coach. Yeah. Just for a second. Um, I don't know I, if that I, means we need to, that that is what we consider <laughs> a head coaching experience. Right. Look, if I'm thinking, okay, the guy who's going to take mm-hmm. over in the middle of this season will also be the coach two seasons after this, I'm, I'm all in. Gary Patterson could right. take this over and take them to a meaningful bowl game within a season. Like I, I truly believe that because he's a hall of famer. He's one of the best coaches of my lifetime. Um, but I think if Baylor is moving on from Dave Aranda, they're going to do a, a clean break, even if it's in the middle of the season. So that is just everyone ride out the rest of this year. And then we are going a completely different direction. And if yep. you're going to do that, you're probably not doing it with a 60 something year old and Gary Patterson. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's why I think like, you know, if, if let's say they're, they're two and four. And so there's a chance that they can make a bowl game, right? An outside chance, but a chance I'm, I'm probably thinking Jake Spavadol has got this fun offense going he can he can rally the troops. He, you know he's young. He's got some people on board here through the transfer portal because Dave's probably not doing that. It's probably Jake Spavadol. Uh, he's got a fun, exciting brand of football. Maybe we can get these guys on board and get them to just cut it loose, put up 45, 50 points a game for a couple of games, and and we ride this thing out to a bowl game and then go in a different direction. That's just yeah. the way I think Baylor will think about it. If they decide as Gary Patterson, I'm also happy with that. Too. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And I'm I think there, there are a lot of people who are... Oh, I truly you know, believe it would be Spavadol. I truly do. For as, better or for a, worse. A Baylor grad myself, I, I often get the, oh, you're just resentful you know, against Baylor, just negative toward Baylor. Oh, they were 3-9 and nine last year. Um, and, and, and I... I can't can't forget if you're just tuning into the show and didn't listen to the twice last segment when I said I don't know how many games they'll win. Yeah, I can't, um, can't, can't ignore that either. I had dinner with a Baylor fan. Oh, we, here's your little here's a fun caveat. I had dinner with a Baylor fan last night, and guy's son was with us. His son's probably ten. And first thing his son says to me, un, I got, never met this kid. Is like, hey, do you think they're gonna fire Dave Aranda? <laughs> 
exactly. Which is a question I would have asked when I was 10 to someone who has a podcast. I would have done the same thing. And you were like, they haven't already? It's like, uh, yeah, I, you know, I don't feel bad for saying the three and nine coach probably should have been retained. And I don't, like, it, it, the kid's not a bad fan. He just also no. wants to see winning. It's not like the kid resents Baylor. He just wants to be good. I just, That's I a would weird like thing for a lot of Baylor people to understand. I would like if Baylor was good. The people are like, yeah. oh, you know what? They, everybody, they want him. You know, he's, he's a nice guy. Okay. I just like to win. Well, I want him to be successful too, but I'm we're not rooting for the guy to get three fired. Three seasons in four years. Except if he goes one and three, then I am rooting for the guy to get fired. I'm sorry. I just like when, when the team that I root for wins. And I, I, I'm, the Gary Patterson deal, the, the one thing that comes to mind for me, here's the optic. He's the head football coach to Baylor. You can't really do that. If you're Mac Rhodes, you probably don't do that. That's, that's uh, you know, because the sect of Baylor fans are I like, do, I do think there is some of like Gary Patterson that might not even want that. As badly as I do think he wants to be, and he said he wants to be a head coach again. Right, right. Um, I, I don't know. I do think there would be some if part of him that's just yes, like, yeah. uh, I'm good in my role right now. I'm probably going to get some calls after this season anyway. But you know, he thinks uh, about it. You know, they've all sure. thought I mean, about it. As soon as the day got hired, it was like, right. oh, you can't, well. you can't take the job and not think about it. Like well. him or Mac Rhodes or anyone else on the coaching staff or anyone in the stadium week one has to think about that when he gets hired. The only reason I do believe that it will be Gary Patterson. And I have a more outsider's perspective than you do. You do. But it, it is too deep in this. Mac Rhodes, if Dave Rand is fired, is on the hot seat as an athletic director. There are questions mm-hmm. about what, because he decided to retain him after three and nine. And if the press release reads Jake's Babatall, nine and 27 as a head football coach, and then the Mac Rhodes quote is, we understand that Jake is a great head coach and great leader with head coaching experience. And everyone looks around the room and goes, Gary Patterson's sitting right there. <laughs> this press release that would be could tough. have been that would be so, tough. so different. Um, then at that point, you start to again put in question the decision making of Mac Rhodes. And I don't after you retain the three and nine guy and take a chance on him, I don't I don't mind saying, hey, we are proceed with caution. Yeah, I get that. It is weird to promote Jake Spav at all and have Gary Patterson in the facility every day. Right. Uh, but I think looks- there's just too much weird. There's too much weirdness around it for me. And maybe I am too deep, but I would have it like 60, 40 spav at all over Patterson. Okay. 60, 40 spav at all. Uh, it's Cameron Stewart at it's real. Cameron Stewart. It's not a bad thing. Um, pretty good actually. Yeah. Uh, coming up tomorrow. Let's do some more sports on locked on big 12 and locked on Baylor. Find oh, Cameron boy, at real cam Stewart home. or the cam show with rogue media releasing limited release until football season, gearing you up for all things, not just big 12, but across the landscape of sports in general. And, um, thanks for making us your first listen every single day. Thanks for joining the show. Mustache looks good. Thanks. Appreciate it. This has been and always will be. Thanks for making it your first listen every single day. Locked on Baylor and locked on. Dose Grande.